Hey guys and welcome to Table Tuesdays. So today I am doing a letter to any daughters I may have. Yeah, I've kind of done this before. I did it in the form of an Dear 30 year old me, which I will link below, which I made when I was 15, because my, my theory was it taken me a lifetime to get to the age of 15, so essentially I had to do a, a whole lifetime to get to 30, if that, if that makes any sense whatsoever. It, it did at the time, and it's quite cute to rewatch it because I'm like, oh, it's so cute. That's so cute. The reason I am filming this today is because this is the last video in which I am the grand age of 17. This is the last video in which I'm legally a child. Ah! I'm not ready for this. Which is why I thought it would be a great idea to address any hypothetical children I may have, specifically daughters. I mean, I may end up with four sons, I may end up with no kids, I, I don't know, but I feel like, I don't know, a message to a daughter because obviously I could do the same with boys, but if boys have problems, they're gonna go to their dads, so it's like... Yes. This video is also unscripted, so I have no idea where this is gonna go. This is weird because then, if I have any daughters or children, they would do this about 30 years from now, which is... Blah, blah, blah. From now, which is... It's quite... That's a long time. 30 years is a long time because essentially, I need to become, what? child but childbearing age why did I just say that um, but then they have to grow and do, do, do this age which is you know almost 7 18 I don't want to be old I don't know where I'm gonna start so as you can say this is essentially the last time I get to address you as a child myself um, and I know being a girl it's not easy um, especially being a teenage girl take it from me it's you're the one person who is, whose opinions are like the most easy to belittle because you're a hormonal teenage girl and everyone's like, your opinion doesn't matter, you're a, you're a teenager. It's like, hey, I know that could be frustrating and I know 100% that I probably will do that to you because my parents have done that to me and I'm, I'm sorry. I t I'm sorry. <laughs> but you'll grow and you'll understand and it'll do the same to your kids and it's the ongoing cycle of teen hysteria. It's fine. One thing I, as a parent, I strive to not do is if you ever want to dye your hair a silly colour, or if you want to stick stuff all over your walls, um, and you want to experiment with weird makeup and do whatever, that's completely fine. I am I am a-okay for that, because if you want to have a phase, that's fine, take it from me, I am the master of having really fair phases. You all saw my alternative phase, I've coined it that now, my alternative phase. It was all over my wall, <laughs> and my room, and my face, and my tumbler. I will try never to stop you from doing that, unless if you want to start poking holes in your ears that don't need to be there, or anything which can cause permanent changes in you. I mean, you can shave your hair off, that's fine, hair grows. That, that's completely fine. Also because you probably will grow out of it and you just need that expression. What you don't need is somebody holding you back and saying you can't do this, you can't do that. I made you so you have to be this perfect image of a child. It's just, I mean, my thing is if you push if you push someone one way, they're just gonna bounce back aggressively the other. That, so there's just no, just, just let them do it. I mean, if I give you this freedom, you probably won't do shit anyway because that's not rebellious. Because if I'm like, mom, I'm gonna dye my hair purple, like, okay. It takes the fun out of it, doesn't it? And I mean, if I don't let you do stupid stuff like this, I am a hypocrite. Because my parents let me do... My parents let me dye my hair blue. It was blue. And they were like, okay. While my mum was like, yeah, sure. I know you'll be a handful. Take it from me. I... Um, look, essentially, there is nothing you can do that I haven't already done. I am a worse child than you will ever be. So just, yeah. But that's another thing. So that means, essentially, if you ever have a problem, if you have anything that you need to talk about, that you want to talk about, you can talk to me. This is weird because, but the person you will talk to is maybe 40 something. Oh God, 40 somethings, even 50. <laughs> but remember, the reason I'm making this, I guess, is I have been this age. I have been the same age as you. I am the same age as you. So never feel 
that you cannot talk to me. That's something I always get when people don't talk to their parents about stuff. So I talk to my parents. For me, especially since I've been boarding. My, I love my parents so much. They're, here's how I'm going to say this on camera. My parents are two of my best friends. I am so lame. Um, I want you to never feel that I'm this horrible, ominous thing that is always hanging over you. And I will always try my best to not to like power parent you or make you this or that because that's not fair. I mean, I already have done my part. Um, you're half of me and the person I love the most. Or maybe you're an accident, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Either way, I love you. I, you don't even exist, uh, yeah. Fun fact, girls are born with all the eggs you'll ever have. <laughs> Biology. Um, so whatever children, girls, you do have, you are technically already carrying. Like half, like half of it. Because obviously boys like they're just and that that's gone. Um and they just keep making them girls. We have all of ours, which uh ooh, sights. <laughs> Revision, I've been revising. We will most likely have screaming matches. We will probably have awful screaming matches. Because I like to yell, I'm a very loud person. This is probably weird to some people because like, you're not a loud person, you never speak about no 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 no. I'm going to do an argument. I'm very, very loud and I tend not to hold back and I'm a very stubborn person. That I feel like that can only... I feel like stubborn is actually quite genetic. So... You're going to have very interesting screaming matches and I know that if you run off and you stomp upstairs and you're like, I hate you! I know you don't. Because the amount of times I've said that to my parents... It's just, it's just lies. So... I'll never take it to heart. I really hope the world you're into is a more girl-friendly world. And that is something as a person I will work towards, I will try and help change. Because I don't want you ever to feel like you're being held back because you're a girl. I never want that. I will always make, if I have boys, if you, I will always try and treat you the same. I will always try and treat you fairly. It doesn't mean I'll always give you your way, and it doesn't mean I probably will always get mine. But I will try and treat you fairly. So I guess also another thing is there is no point stressing over boys. There is no all girls are literally just I don't care who you're into as long as you're into them in a safe manner. And um yes, that that is it. People are going to break your heart, people are going to hurt you, that is just life. Um and it sucks. I've been there, it's awful. But I promise you that no matter what, you will have me to come home to. And Ben and Jerry, because I hope Ben and Jerry still sort of think. If I'm not, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> but we will always. We. But I will always be here with ice cream, cuddles, and lots and lots of unconditional love. Because that's what parents are for. And I guess one of the things I really hope is that you're as lucky to have, like, the relationship I have with my mum. And especially the knowledge that you are loved. And the thing is, I know that my parents love me. I know. I can feel the unconditional love they have for me. Even if I am a dreadful child, or if I scream that I hate them, I know they love me unconditionally. So I guess my promise is to any daughters I might have, any sons I might have, or screw it, even any pets I might have, I will always love you unconditionally, because you deserve no less. I guess the summary of my video is, um, you know, for joining with script us, um, I will let you be whoever you want to be, because I'll be honest, it's just going to provide me with photos to tease you about later going, do you remember when your hair was like that? Do you remember when you did this? Do you remember when you did that? <laughs> I like to tease people. But I will do my best to make sure this world is the one I would want to bring children into, but I would want to bring a daughter into. Because as far as women have gone, it's still not perfect. So hopefully, give it 30 years, it could just be a little bit better. And of course, that I will love you unconditionally. Because that's something I can't conceive of not being able to do. And I know that it's something that not every child gets, but every child does deserve. So that is my summary of this video and I'm about to cry if I don't stop. It might seem quite pathetic to some people that I'm about to cry, but you, you try this. Just stand in your mirror and say all the hypothetical things that you would like to say to any children you may have and then you might feel like you're gonna cry too. So yes, as a child I'm saying to any hypothetical children I may have, I love you. And as a parent I will always love you and yes, that is, that is a summary of this video. Like, subscribe and all my to everyone who is watching and yeah, bye! Mwah. on the hands.
so did anyone notice my hair's lighter? Yay, I spent like two hours at the hairdressers. <laughs> it was very expensive. Um, yay!